Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another quick video for you. Now, many of you on Facebook and even on the main YouTube channel have been asking if we were going to be getting a jean. So I had a little whisper in Asus's ear and I finally managed to get one here. So it's uh, pretty much the same as the rest of them, to be fair. And by that, I mean with the stuff that's on the board, we've still got the keybot. So we've got that interfacing where you can select uh, and reassign your F keys. We've got the Extreme Digi Engine. I've got the studio lights on today because it's very dark and overcast outside. Then we've got uh, um, uh, the back plate hasn't got any tabs on it, which is really nice. One-sided dim slots, lovely. Overcurrent protection on the um, RAM, lush. It's saying uh, two times greater electrostatic protection than standard ESD guards. All right, that sounds nice. Three times longer stainless steel backplate I.O. and it's meant to just last longer. And then over here we've got 10K black metallic capacitors, five times longer lifespan than normal ones. All sounds quite nice. Then also when we come around here, it's got very many of the same features as the other ones. We've got the Langard stuff, Intel Ethernet. You're always going to get a thumbs up from me from that. Something slightly different is the audio, which I'll show you in a minute, because this is like a separate add-in card. Now, uh, when we go around the back, it's all the same mumbo jumbo. Now, because of the awesomeness of the camera, what I'll do, I know you've got a shadow here, but that's because of the lights above. Um, so the only way I could do it would be over if we went like this, and then I went like that. So there you go, there's that bit, and then we can move over to that bit, and then lovely. But now, I have to move this back down here again. There we go, and we still get the shadow back. I can't really do anything about that. It's just because with this new camera, it's got a huge, um, well, it's just much bigger than the old one, and we can get away with so much more. Anyway, when we open the box, <gasps> it's missing. No, it's not. I've got it out already. That's what she said. Anyway, that's the... Uh, the plate that I said to you about, and it's got no tabs or anything on the back for you to lose skin on. You get a uh, your email, you get a door hanger. I should start saving these, and we should start giving them away on Facebook. All the kind of normal mumbo jumbo stuff, little um, uh, connector things, quick connectors. You get some SATA cables, and then what we do is like Hudson and Hall, we stick this to one side and drop it. But I want to show you this, and this is the Supreme FX add-in card. So you've got your three audio connections on the back and then this is where it goes into the motherboard and it can be screwed in as well but we've got the uh the esd shield because obviously that's a metal shield to protect the chip that's underneath and then you've just got a few audio capacitors around the outside but it actually does go on this part of the motherboard now i'm just doing it very carefully because i'm trying to do this live on camera and with i really need to do it with my right hand like everything else in my life anyway it, oh, there we go right so we've got it on there and you can add it in like that obviously i've not screwed it in place but it goes in the slot above the uh, pci express here now it's not technically a um add-in slot because we still get the four slots down here but it gives us a bit more room but obviously you won't have it in there you'd have a little bit more breathing room above your above your card should you need it although with big heat sinks it's still going to get in the way now having a look at the card itself the card the board i should move this it does look the absolute car horners and by that i mean it's because i know we've got the shadow but i can't do anything about it uh we've got the red on the board still which i always loved what we can see we go right in, you've got the um, uh, gold plated chokes that Asus are getting famed for using. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight phases uh, hiding around there, which is all quite nice. I do like the red on the board. Uh, it's a shame that there's not more kind of red down here like we would have seen on the other ones. But it's a, a nice amount around that top edge of the board. Now, so we have eight SATA connectors down here. Now there's no SATA Express, but there is an M2 slot here. And you can see that we've got the 60 and the 80 long the connectors there. USB 3, we do have start and a reset button. And then this is the keybot and the sound stage. Keybot is obviously for assigning your um, F keys. Sound stage is so that you can change the audio 
uh, equaliser settings. Um, even if the drivers, for argument's sake, like with uh, Steam OS or Mac or even Linux, if the drivers aren't fully supported, you can change your equaliser by hitting that button, which you know can be quite handy for those of you out there that are getting annoyed with all the stuff that Windows keeps getting up to. There are quite a few fan headers. We've got uh, CPU optional there, and the main CPU fan there. Channel fan two there. Channel fan three is there. We look down the bottom. That's actually channel fan one down there. And I do believe that's our lot. I can't believe how bright the studio lights are making all of this scene, considering uh, before we would have struggled with this light. We might actually have to start manually turning down the uh, brightness settings on the camera. But anyway, or maybe, yeah, we'll have to have a play, maybe. Anyway, so that's our first look at the MATX Maximus 7 Gene. Now, if I get this all straight, I will, uh, I will zoom you in. There we go, so that you can get an extended look of the board there. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. This will be getting reviewed in the next week or so. Uh, I've got a lot of work on here at the moment. And I will get round to it as quickly as I possibly can do. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.